to please welcome this week's special guest, Simon. <laughs> So, uh, Mackenzie Crook, what is Simon to you? This is Simon, and when I hoaxed my school by burying some treasure, Simon found it and the police were called. OK, all right. Uh, Chris, how do you know Simon? This is Simon. In a virtual world, we're married. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, finally, uh, David Mitchell, your relationship with Simon. This is Simon. He has a large tattoo of my face on his knee. <laughs> so there we have it. Um, is Simon Mackenzie's treasure hunter, Chris's cyber spouse, or David's tattooed fan? Lee's team, where would you like to start? David. Yes. How do you know Simon? Um, <laughs> I know him because <laughs> when I was doing a book signing mm -hmm. of a comedy book, uh, he came and asked for the book to be signed and also asked me to sign my name underneath the tattoo of my face on his knee. <laughs> when, he's got, when, he's, when you sign the face, yeah. is the face normal when the knee is stretched? <laughs> <laughs> or is the face normal when it's not stretched? Look, it's my face. It's not normal at all. <laughs> I need to ask you a question, though? but you've got to answer this honestly. Yeah. When no, 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 you no, don't. I don't. <laughs> no. That's the whole point of the case. <laughs> OK. <laughs> when when the people with, from true. Would I Lie to You said, mm. we're going to invite on that man who's got a tattoo of your face on his knee, mm -hmm. did you say, oh, good, I'd like to see him again? <laughs> I'm, of course, thrilled <laughs> to, uh, to remake the acquaintance of, um, of, yeah. Why not so, Simon? <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Simon. Yeah. Simon. <laughs> so I did something, just to digress a little bit. I once got, that's true, backstage after a gig, a woman asked me to sign her bosom. And <laughs> I, I went to sign that, with the pen that she gave me. And, and the pen didn't work. I, and without thinking, I went to the other breast and went... <laughs> <laughs> it's awful! Mackenzie, how old were you when you buried this treasure? Uh, maybe 13 or 14. So what was the treasure? Diamonds. What? <laughs> oh my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. How many got everyone's attention? <laughs> diamonds. Fake diamonds. It was a hoax. Oh. So how was, how uh, many fake diamonds? Uh, probably six. Where did you get all the six fake diamonds? From my sister's jewellery box. What? And then you rang up the police and hoaxed them into coming down to find some fake diamonds? N no, no, they were... They were I put them in the tin and they, they were dredged in the school pond. So I knew if I placed it in the pond, it, it would be found. And where did he fit into this? Simon found the tin with the supposed diamonds and a letter that I'd faked. Uh, what did it say on the letter? It said something along the lines of these are stolen, smuggled diamonds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that's whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so you're telling me that uh, uh, diamonds were found with a letter, you go, these are smuggled diamonds. Yeah. On a, and someone went, we better phone the police, this is genuine. <laughs> was there a punishment involved? Nobody ever found out. It was me. The police came back and said that they'd analysed the diamonds and they weren't diamonds and it was obviously a host. So they caught Ronnie Biggs, but they couldn't get you. <laughs> Are you happy to move on now? Yeah. Chris, you're married in a virtual world. Tell us a little bit more about how you met Simon. Second Life is a, a, a virtual world that exists on the internet, secondlife.com and I'm one of the <laughs> players. The various roles that you can play, you, have, you, you invent an avatar for yourself. And you are? My avatar is Audrey Helpburn. It's what? <laughs> Audrey Helpburn. So you're playing the woman in this relationship? Yes. So Why have you got a second life as a, as a woman? Chris? Well, part of the whole thing is that you can be whatever you want to be, and as I say, a lot of people take <laughs> Don't it... Don't start very... singing I am what I am. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, well, I'll change my personality. I'll be Audrey Hepburn, as the Audrey Hepburn <laughs> happens to be one of my real-life heroines. Right. And Couldn't do Hepburn because someone had already done it. And what is Simon's avatar? He is Simon Bernstein Jr. Right. And, and <laughs> right. And where did you meet him in this virtual world? Well, but when you go on there, you 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 can go to places and then you meet people. They yeah, contact. So a bit you. like real life, but for sad people. Is, 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 <laughs> Simon, and his pretend name is Simon? Yes, but his real name is Simon Morgan. 
Presumably, rather like Audrey Hepburn, he couldn't be Simon Morgan because someone had already done that. There were about 20 million people. No, can't yeah, but do you're this not thing. Audrey Hepburn. No, help burn. Yeah, no, but you wanted it. Yes, but he is Simon <laughs> Morgan. Is what it's like a psychiatrist coach. You are not Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you again. We went through this last week. You're not Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Where you met Simon Bernstein Jr. I met him at a cocktail party. Yes. I married him for his money. But I'm I married. Yeah, I believe you because when you said you married him for his money, do you see his face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He couldn't help it. You, you, know, you no, said no, that. No, that was the ink on his knees dry. <laughs> Right. What are you going to say, Lee? Who well, do you this, think it is? Uh, this is this is a tricky one for me. Victoria, who is who is he connected with? If this was a poker game, yeah. and I had to make a call, I'd say Mackenzie's the one who's not bluffing. You're going by body language. Well, that's interesting. What is it about his body that tells you he's he's not bluffing it? But he has a certain he has a sort of calm. I know for a fact he's under heavy medication. I don't. Know <laughs> if that's, uh... Looking at it from a different way, the Simon is far too geeky for tattoos on his knees, but the Avatar thing, I think, sounds just a bit too plausible. I think it's Mackenzie. Well, listen, Victoria's a top poker player. She knows body language better than anybody. So are you saying that it's definitely Mackenzie Crook? You're saying that it's the You're buried company. treasure? Yeah. OK. Simon, would you like to reveal your true identity? My name is Simon, and when we were at school together, I discovered Mackenzie's buried treasure. <laughs> Everything that uh, Mackenzie said was absolutely true. Simon found the treasure Mackenzie buried at his school. And actually, we can show you the letter. Have a look at this. <laughs> In this tin, I have placed stolen... You don't mind me doing it with an accent, do you? <laughs> In this tin, I have placed stolen diamonds. Are you going to do it with an accent? <laughs> I would never claim to have your range as an actor, David. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I do posh and repressed or repressed and posh? <laughs> well done. Now, thank you very much, Simon, for coming on. How about that?